بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الأمين Dear students, okay, today we have Get Ready, book number four, fifth grade, صف الخامس الابتدائي Would you please open your books and let's start our lesson, okay? Alright, let's revise what we had studied before on unit uh, two, uh, eight, lesson one. Do you remember what we said about present progressive or present continuous? We had some sentences using this uh, structure. So this is the time, so this is the timeline. Now we are here. We are going to make sentences or form sentences using the present continuous talking about something happening now. Let's revise what we said. We will answer the question, what are you doing? What are you doing now? Okay, let's do it. For example, I am reading a book. I am reading a book. Okay, so this is a simple sentence in present progressive tense. What happened here? We have subject, helping verb, the verb be, and the verb, the main verb with ing. I am reading. I am reading. So this is present progressive or sometimes they say present continuous. Okay, another one, she. When we have the pronoun she or he or it, we use the verb be is. And here we added the ing to the main verb. So she is cooking now. What is she doing now? She is cooking. What are you doing now? I am reading a book. Okay. Yes, they. And the verb be here is are. So they are play and we add the ing. They are playing football now. So here the structure is the subject, any subject. We have pronoun, pronoun or a noun, a name. Mathalan Amal is cooking. Okay. They, the boys or the girls, are playing. So the subject, verb to be, the helping verb, um, is, are. And the verb, the main verb, with ing. So don't forget, we had this before, and you can write your own sentences. So this is present progressive. Don't forget, or present continuous describing something happening now at the moment okay let's move to our lesson would you please open your books on page 50 to 51 50 and 51 this is our lesson today okay what are we going to do or what are we going to study today we are going to do inshallah to talk about prices and how much is it how much is the shirt how much is the football how much is anything the juice when you want to ask the, about a pr the price of something. And also we are going to describe actions happening now, as we said before. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> Here. This is lesson two, page 50, exercise one. This is the listening exercise. So you have to bring your pencils and do it with me. Here we have the question, how much is it? How much is the football? How much is the motorbike? How much is the chocolate bar? How much is the juice? How much is the t-shirt? When you want to ask about the price of something, you answer, مثلاً, it is 300 riyals, it is 10 riyals, it is 2 riyals, you know this before, okay? Today, we are going to learn how to say it is cheap or it is expensive. When it is cheap, that you don't have to pay a lot of money, no. But when it's expensive, you have to pay a lot of money. You have to pay a lot of money. So we have cheap and expensive. Expensive, you have to pay to buy this item a lot of money. So we are going to listen and to decide which one is A or B or C or D. So again... The question is, how much is, for example, the football? How much is the motorbike? Okay, let's listen and do it together. Unit 8, Lesson 2, Activity 1. Listen, number, 
and draw. One. How much is that football? Three hundred reals, please. That's expensive. Two. How much is that motorbike? Five thousand reals, please. That's expensive. Three. How much is this football? Ten reals, please. That's cheap. Four. How much is this motorbike? Five hundred reals, please. That's cheap. Okay. When we look at these pictures, what is the difference between this one and this one? Here we are using this for something that is not far and here we use some that for something that is far away from us so this is the difference between these pictures okay so here this that and this okay now would you please hear the sound again unit eight lesson two activity one Listen, number, and draw. One. How much is that football? Three hundred reals, please. That's expensive. Two. How much is that motorbike? Five thousand reals, please. That's expensive. Three. How much is this football? Ten reals, please. That's cheap. Four. How much is this motorbike? Five hundred reals, please. That's cheap. Okay, so let's do it together. Here it says to you, five thousand reals. So is it cheap or expensive? Of course, it is expensive. Okay, and here the question was, how much is that motorbike? Okay, number three here, how much is this, is this football? It is 10 reals, so it is cheap. Okay, it is cheap. And here the, the last one, how much is the motorbike? He said 500 reals, it is cheap for a motorbike. Okay, so don't forget to say it is cheap or expensive. Here we have these words, two new words. You want to use them to describe the price. Is it expensive or cheap? And the question here, how much is it? Of course, if you are talking about something that is near you, you say, how much is this? Something that is far from you, you say, how much is that? Clear? Okay, let's move. Okay, again, how much is this or that? And you say the price. Read and complete. This is exercise number two. You tell me now, how can I finish this exercise? How, the question, how much? Don't forget. How much is that football? Okay, five reals, please. That is cheap. That is cheap. Okay, cheap. Okay, again, is this football? And remember, we have two kinds of questions. When I'm asking about the item in the shop, when it's near you, you say, how much is this? When the item is far away from you, you say, how much is that? So again, let's finish this, uh, this question. We say, how, asking about a price again, how much? How much is this football? 20 reals. And don't forget to be polite, even if you are a sailor man, please. That's expensive or cheap? 20 reals. Maybe, sometimes, it would be expensive for you if you don't have 20 reals. Some people would say it's not expensive. It's up to you. 
Okay, so please write down these answers in your book. Don't forget the question of today, how much? How much is that or how much is this? Okay. Let's move. <coughs> Okay, here, this is exercise number three, page 51, please, you have here pictures, you have pictures, and you have the time, okay, we have pictures, people uh, doing some actions, and we have time, okay, look at this. Is it in the morning or in the evening? Here it says in the evening, 7 o'clock in the evening. And here, 10 o'clock in the morning. In the morning, okay? And there, the time, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, okay? It is the afternoon. So here we have evening, maybe after the Maghrib prayer. This is called evening, okay? In the morning, you know the morning, when you wake up in the morning till 11 o'clock, it is morning. And here in the afternoon, after the Dhuhr prayer, we call, it, we call this afternoon. Okay, let's do it together. Here you have some verbs, as I told you before, in present continuous form, these sentences, we are going to describe these people, they are doing something now, and we want to describe what are they doing. Don't forget the question. What are they doing? Okay. What is he doing? What is she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay. What are they doing? Question. Okay. What are they doing? Number one. We are snorkeling, taking, eating, shopping. What do you think? Where are they? Where are they? Are they at the museum or restaurant or a beach or a market? You know all these words before. You studied this before. So they are at, yes, they are at a restaurant. What are they doing? So we are eating, very good, we are eating, where? At a restaurant, okay, they gave you the first rest and you finish restaurant, very good, in the evening. What, what is Tom doing? Tom is, and we said this is the short form of Tom is, taking. Yes, he is taking, they give you the T, taking, taking what? A photo of the museum, okay, the museum, U, S, E, you finish the word. Here, you can do it by yourself, I am snorkeling at the beach, when? It is in the afternoon, here it is in the morning, and here it is the evening. And Tom here is what? Shopping. Very good. So this is happening now. This is happening now. Where? In the market. And you finish your sentences. It is the afternoon. Here, again, how much? Yes, of course, is, because I'm asking about what? 20 riyals, please. This is the seller man. That's 20 riyals, cheap or expensive. I am, this is present continuous, reading. Okay, I am reading. Very good. He is or am or are. He is. They are, as we said before. Very good. Okay. Let's move. All right. Now we are going to listen. Okay. 
Unit 8. Lesson... OK. 2. Unit 8. Lesson 2. Phonics. Activity 4A. Look, listen and say. You. 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 Pupil. 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 Sl. 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 Sleep. 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 Pr. 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 Pray. 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 Unit 8. Lesson 2. Phonics. Activity 4B. Listen and tick. Say the words. 1. You. 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 Computer. Colour. Summer. OK, that's very good. You can uh, do it with your family. Let's do it. So computer, colours and summer. You can read it and tick in the book. OK, now don't forget the words that we used can with, the sentences that we used can with. Can, do you remember what can you do? I can snorkel, I can take photos. You use can after the subject and then the main verb as it is. OK, the homework is page 87. You open your workbooks and you answer the questions please here. OK, you match. It's the morning, Helen's buying cheap jewelry. This is number B. It's the afternoon, the family is playing at the beach where? So this is the afternoon, 3 o'clock, the family is playing football. That was our lesson for today, okay? I wish you, I wish that you have uh, understand the uh, present continuous and uh, inshallah for a new lesson. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.